Hello, this is our let's build of a adventure map and this is a adventure map that I have started about one and a half years ago. There's one person with me and he's been helping me out a lot. Define helping. Uh, and well that's him. So yeah. what you could see there was our starting point. You would grow up a poor farmer boy and yeah. perhaps Just scrub. get some quests in the mill. Then even maybe do some quests for the people of that local village. Yeah. Or even go down the mine by this stonemason and miner. Well, with after his, all, it's Minecraft, so... With his there go. large business. There all we right. can see on the left a trebuchet, which might be tweaked slightly more, but I'm quite happy with the design. Yeah, but it just still misses the thing on the end. Yeah, a sling. That, we need this to is, add a sling. This is work in progress, so... It's not, not a problem. Here's another... There is, there is a ro rocket on the horizon, as you can see. There's another close-up of the mill, and here is the sawmill, and then the town gate. Also, and... can you say, see the tourney on the left? <laughs> no? That's my job. And here we can see the beginning of the amphitheatre that I started building before we started recording, but we'll be building that today. Yeah, this is like intro for you guys to understand what is it, what is this map about. So there we go. Here is one of the rich villas, the rich district that is going to be there. There's some red, redstone in the background that I was using for the gate. And here the cathedral of the town. In this map I have tried to make the whole build quite realistic because I like realistic and I would say it's a very Skyrim inspired perhaps. Yeah. Although I started um. building the map about one year before Skyrim came out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and also Game of Thrones-ish a bit. <clears throat> It's a fantasy, so there's like Game of Thrones, Lord of the Rings, etc. Here's the dockyard of the town. Yeah, a shipyard. It's really nice. And here's the tavern. Spoilers, there will be a na naval battle. But that's, well, spoilers. Here's the barracks, and now we are coming up to the main castle. Uh, on the right there is a large watchtower, and a main castle. There's only a bridge leading to the watchtower, which makes it quite interesting. Well, it's a defensive structure, so... Of course there won't be like elevators and stuff. Oh, and this is my job, see? I'm also sometimes productive. It took me like four years to make it. If you didn't realize what the towers are on the cathedral, they've got bells inside. Yeah. There is quite a few things on this build inspired from many castles that I've been to as I like travelling around and looking at castles. I've been to one. It was in WoW. <laughs> Alright, so there we go guys. This map will be awesome, I guess. We hope. And now... Let's see how Sam built a amphitheater. Well, finished it. 
So, I have built this amphitheatre by World Edit, World Edit, and it was basically a lot of spheres, half slab spheres. It was a very annoying job. So, here I built a nice cobblestone wall around it to not let ordinary people, those ordinary peasant scum, to go to the cultural theatre. And here I'm building some access points to the theatre. And interestingly enough, the Colosseum had different entrances for different rows of seats. So I tried to do that here. Here I was building a stage for the act actors to perform on. And some background beh behind the stage for a play that is perhaps known in this area and played often. There's a lot of things on this build that are inspired by real life places and quite a few theatres did have some kind of structure behind the stage that they would use in their plays. And also behind the stage as we use nowadays is a place for the actors to get changed and get ready for the play so that's what that little hut is there for so the actors can go down those access doors and get changed and ready for the play then I thought the king needed some kind of place that he could sit at. Not by the nobles and not by those people, somewhere separate and private with the best view. So I built in this wooden structure with a luxury cloth roof and some nice wooden chairs inside. Not like those ordinary stone chairs for the peasants and then I needed to build some entrances some entrances so you could access the row that you're sitting on there's a nice view what audience would see it like. Adding some finishing details to the king's place. And here's a cinematic view of the finished amphitheater. It's. I've, I've seen a couple of amphitheaters. I've seen one in Cornwall, and I've seen about two in Egypt and quite a few in Italy because there are Italy and Greece there's a, a couple theatres and amphitheatres in Italy and Greece and here are the two entrance points one for the higher places and one for the lower places where you can buy your tickets for the theatre and I added some decorations, but I want to wait with the decorations till 1.7 comes out and I can mod it so I can add the new flowers which will make it look a bit more interesting. There we can see where the king would sit and perhaps the very high nobles with him.
And that's it for today guys. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.